so today we will see about solving the algorithm for minesweeper so minesweeper is a game which was installed in windows xp it was pre-installed and the goal of the game was to select number of squares and so that we don't step on mines so it was like randomized game and the only thing was that if there is two or three or one the num the number that is higher uh, if you are selecting three so surrounding cells will have a probability of getting a mine higher than the other cells so i will be uploading this pdf in uh, github so you can check the problem and this is the game and uh, these are the mines the stars are the mines and these dots are normal so if we encounter any mine we will increase the eight sides of this array which we are storing and in this way we will progress so one naive approach is to take an m cross n array and iterate all over it like for n cross m times so complexity will be n cross m and it is a very inefficient approach in the case when if there is uh, mines of 1 lakh cross 1 lakh grid so what we will do is we will optimize this and we will take a buffer array which is which will be of integer and the main goal is to optimize according to space complexity so we will give a pad of 1 on both side so the dimension of the array will be 3 uh, into m plus 2 where m is the number of columns so from it we can see that only a small buffer can process a size of more than 1 lakh so the main aim is to solve this with minimum space and if you are taking an array suppose uh, m cross 3 so when the second row will be finished executing means finish calculating we will print the first row and this will be done using the modulus operator so we will see that here and this is the most optimized approach for solving mine sweeper and so let's get into the code i have used c++ for solving it and this code will be uploaded to so firstly we are including the necessary libraries in C++ then what we are doing is we are taking the M and N and field so according to this we have to run an infinite loop and we have to take the field value of 1, 2, 3 and like this and for one field we have to take the array and process so what we will do is we will just take the character and we will process the integer array and it will be more efficient so let's see this so firstly we are taking an infinite loop and we are processing it since this is an online judge problem and the test cases are not given this is fully competitive programming so we are taking the infinite loop we are taking the m cross n grid and we are initializing the buffer here on both side and we are printing the fail first then what we are doing is we are setting the buffer to zero cause it will have garbage values obviously then we are uh, we are iterating over the loop and taking just the character and what we are doing is we are just manipulating the buffer if you are getting any uh, star means we if you are getting any mine then we will change the eight side increment all the eight surroundings uh, by one and else what we are doing is we are continuing means we don't have to do anything if it is not a mine so we will be printing it and what is the per use of this person means modulus is firstly we will print the zero zero eighth row then we will print the first row then we will print the third row uh, sorry second row and then we will print again the first row of the buffer means uh, four percent three equal to equal to one so it will go like this zero firstly i equal to zero we will print the first row i equal to one we will print the 
second row i is equal to 2 we will print the third row i equal to 3 we will again print the first row i equal to 4 we will again print the second row i equal to 5 and we will again print the third row so while printing it we will make sure that the buffer is zero or it will uh, it will give some garbage value actually so here we are incrementing this and here we are just uh, setting the buffers to zero and printing it once we are processing the second row of each item and we are storing it accordingly so the modulus is the magic here and after that what we are doing is we are just printing the last row after the whole manipulation and whole processing so this is it so we will run it so I am using GCC uh, GCC Minesweeper uh, compiling it optimized code so the only thing that is necessary here is we are just utilizing minimum space the key note uh, take away from this so the output is correct it's not formatted properly because it's online judge problem and nothing is given to exactly you have to use your intuitions and understanding to solve the problems so the output is correct and we have to print for field 3 we have to enter something for field 3 and so suppose 2 and 2 Oops. Fine. so this is it and it's working correctly so I will be uploading this and giving the link in the description and subscribe for more because I will be uploading many more of the competitive examining problems and thanks for watching